In continuation to our last video, this topic will be about the first law of thermodynamics. So it states that if energy can neither be created nor destroyed, then it can be transformed from one form to another. So here we are going to calculate for the work of an unflow and steady flow system. If the work done is positive, that is the work done by the system, that is the outflow of energy, and if the work is done on the system, that is negative, or the inflow of energy. So in the law of conservation of energy, so our energy 1 is equal to our energy 2. So our input energy is equal to our output of energy. So potential energy 1 plus kinetic energy 1 plus the internal energy 1 plus the workflow 1 plus the heat is equal to the Potential energy 2 plus kinetic energy 2 plus internal energy 2 plus workflow 2 plus the non-flow work or the steady flow work of the system. Or transferring our uh, first values, the potential kinetic and internal energy including our flow work from left to right of our equation, we can have the heat is equal to the change in potential energy plus change in kinetic energy plus the change in internal energy plus change in flow work plus the non-flow work. And since enthalpy is equal to the sum of internal and the flow work, so we can also have this equation. Uh, Q or heat is equal to the change in PE plus change in KE plus the change in enthalpy plus work of non-flow or steady flow work. So the first example, this is our first example on our previous video. This is just a continuation since we have already solved for the different forms of energy. So these are the given and these are the solved values for all the changes in energy. The change in potential energy is zero since there are no elevation. The change in kinetic energy is equal to 19.16 BTU per pound mass. The change in internal energy is negative 25 BTU per pound mass. The heat is zero since there are no heat transferred. The change in flow work is equal to negative 7.41 BTU per pound mass. And so using our equation, the law of conservation of energy, we are going to use this equation. So Q is already zero and the change in potential energy. So that is zero is equal to 19.16 minus 25 minus 7.41 plus non-flow work. And so this values will equate to negative 13.25 plus non-flow work. So our non-flow work is positive 13.25 BTU per pound mass. And so this work is done by the system sin since this is positive. So that is outflow of energy. And multiplying this value by our mass flow rate that is 10 pound mass per minute. And then 1 horsepower is 42.4 BTU per minute. Our non-flow work is equal to 3.125 horsepower. Our second example, this is our second example also to our previous video. These are the given and these are the computed values. The change in PE is zero. The change in kinetic energy is 4.06 kilowatts. The change in internal energy is 21.07 kilowatts. The heat is negative 19.87 kilowatts and the change in flow work is 4.24 kilowatts. And then using again the same equation, our uh, change in potential energy is zero. So heat will be equated that is negative 19.87 equal to 4.06 plus 21.07 plus 4.24 plus the steady flow work. And so these values will be equal to 29.37 when added plus the steady flow work and so our steady flow work is equal to negative 49.24 kilowatts this is done on the system since it is negative so the third example we are going to compute for all the values of energy 
and then we are going to calculate the power output of the turbine in kilowatts. So these are all the given, including the heat which is negative 0.29 kilojoule per second and then our mass flow rate is 0.42 kilogram per, per second. And then computing for the change in potential energy since we have a we have an elevation given so that is the mass is 0.42 kilogram mass per second the g is 9.81 meters per second squared and then the second elevation is 0 minus 3 meters so our change in potential energy is negative 12.36 watts then the change in kinetic energy that is m over 2 times the squares of the velocities 2 and 1. So that is 0.42 times the second velocity is 100 meters per second then squared minus the first velocity 33.3 meters per second and then squared. So that will be equal to 1867.13 watts and then the change in enthalpy that is the the difference between h2 and h1 times the mass flow rate so that is 0.42 our mass flow rate times 2,512,000 joules per kilogram mass since our given is in kilojoules we have to multiply these values by 1000 minus 2,785,000 joules per kilogram and then the result will be negative 114,660 watts and so using this equation and then considering our internal energy and the flow work the sum of them is equal to the change in enthalpy so we can substitute for all the values the Q is negative 290 since the given is in kilojoule per second or kilowatts. We have to multiply this one by 1000 so we can have the unit watts for the heat that is negative 290 is equal to negative 12.36 the PE plus the 1867.13 the kinetic energy minus the change in enthalpy that is negative 114,660 plus the unknown the steady flow work. And so these values will equate to negative 112,805.23. And so our steady flow work is equal to 112,515 watts or dividing by 1,000 for kilowatts that is 112.52 kilowatts. So that ends our topic. Our next topic will be the ideal gas. For your questions for this current topic, comment on our discussion.